My Lords, I beg leave to ask a question of which I have given private notice. The question is as follows. To ask Her Majesty's Government whether they will make a statement on the disruption at Gatwick Airport caused by drone activity. My Lords, the disruption these drones have caused is extensive and it's an ongoing operation. We are in close contact with Gatwick Airport as they work with the police to safely resolve the situation as quickly as possible. These drones have been flown illegally and anyone endangering an aircraft could face up to five years in jail. My Lords, this incident has illustrated the frightening ease with which drone users can inflict massive damage on our safety, our security and our economy. It's Christmas and thousands more drones will find their way as gifts into the hands of untrained, unregistered users. I ask the Noble Lady, Lady the Minister if she will commit to introducing proper, stringent controls on drones early in 2019. I realise the Government's very busy with Brexit, but this illustrates the importance of other aspects of our national life. And can she tell us whether police now consider this incident to be an act of terror or simply an act of criminal irresponsibility? And whichever of those two it is, all airports are clearly now at risk. What steps are being taken to prevent a repeat copycat attack? Yeah, yeah. Um, my Lords, I entirely agree with the Noble Lady that we absolutely need to make sure that we introduce new laws uh, to ensure that drones are used safely and responsibly. Early this, earlier this year, we brought in a law which makes it illegal to fly within a kilometre of an airport and also above 400 feet. And actually in November, we are also introducing a registration system which will include a mandatory safety check before you're able to fly your drone. Uh, but as I said, these drones are being operated illegally. I'm afraid I'm not able to give a further comment. It does seem as though they are being uh, used to intentionally disrupt the airport, but as I said, this is an ongoing investigation. My lords, my lords, my lords, my lords, my lords, I think it's a front bench response on an urgent question. My lords, I'm quite dissatisfied with the noble lady, the minister's responses. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only noble lord to declare an interest in Christmas flights from Gatwick, <laughs> but there are two issues. There are the longer term issues referred to, but there are the emergency issues for today. This is causing disruption and distress to thousands. Over 100,000 people are stranded. Now, given the time it's been going on, the scale of the disruption, this isn't a teenager playing with an early Christmas present from their bedroom. So I think there's, it's obviously malicious, and the noble lady has to address and the government's serious issues. Firstly, the police say they have 20 units looking for the operator or operators. Do the police have the expertise and the equipment? They now say they're, looking, they're launching a campaign for information. Secondly, has the government consulted or engaged our military, who surely have a higher grade of technology for dealing with drones? And thirdly, which ministers are monitoring the situation and coordinating the emergency response and who they report back to? I remember the days when Prime Ministers had COBRA meeting last night to coordinate ministerial responses. So given the urgency, I expect the Minister to investigate these issues and come back to the House today with an answer. If she can't give an answer now, can she assure the House she will return within the hour and give answers to these questions? Yeah. Uh, my Lords, as I said, this is an ongoing operation. Sussex Police are in the lead and have officers on the ground. They are doing everything they can to locate the drone and its operators. All relevant parts of government, including the Department for Transport, Home Office and the Ministry of Defence, are involved in the response, and we are doing everything we can. But as I said, I'm afraid it's an ongoing police investigation and operation. I'm not able to give further details at this time. My Lords, um, I declare an interest, first of all, as a pilot, but also as a chair of the all-party parliamentary group on general aviation investigation into airspace in the UK. Uh, we are very concerned with the incursion into airspace by drones at this time. So whilst I am reassured by my uh, noble friend's remarks, we do feel that there is a matter of considerable urgency uh, that these matters are dealt with and full accountability for drone operators and those that sell drones to the public are now implemented. 
Uh, my Lords, as I've explained, we did change the law earlier this year, bringing in an exclusion zone around airports, um, and we are absolutely working with manufacturers and retailers to ensure that these new rules are, communi new rules are communicated with people who purchase drones. Um, and from November, people will need to register their drone and take an online safety test. We've also recently consulted on extending police powers, and we'll be making announcements on the next steps on that very shortly. My Lords, my lords, my lords two years ago, two years ago, my Lords, on the 28th of February 2017, we raised the issue of the existing of jamming signal equipment from these benches operational at a distance of 2,000 feet. And the Minister, in reply, said he would take up the, the issue with officials two years ago. And he said, We will be, or the Minister said, We will be raising this, issue, this specific point with the manufacturers. What happened? Was it raised with officials? Was it raised with manufacturers? And what were the results of those conversations with the manufacturers? Um, my Lords, as I say, we are working closely uh, with manufacturers on counter drone technology. That was something we also spoke about in our consultation. Uh, and we're working closely with the Home Office, both on the technological side of counter drone technology, but also on the physical side of things too. My Lords, my Lords. May I ask the Minister, she keeps saying that this is an ongoing police operation. Is there any reason why it cannot be updated by this afternoon? There are a large number of passengers queuing around at Piatwick Airport. Nothing is right and proper. Not only the public, but Parliament has information of what's going on. Will she come back and give us some information later on? <coughs> Uh, my Lord, as I said, this is an ongoing police, police operation, and um, you know, we will have to see how that develops throughout the day. Of course, um, we absolutely encourage all passengers who are due to be travelling from Gatwick Airport before they go to the airport to check in with their airlines and also look on the Gatwick Airport website for information. And of course, the most up to date information will be provided. My Lord. What requirements are placed on airports to be ready for these circumstances? Will the Minister be checking that other airports are prepared to meet these circumstances should they arise? Um, my Lords, of course, we work carefully with airports on all their operational contingency plans. Um, the priority is, is safety uh, on that. Um, and as I said, uh, once this event is closed, the police will be investigating fully and, of course, will be looking at our response and also working with airports to avoid such an incident in the future. My Lords, the House is, of course, grateful to the noble lady for the rather complacent reply she has given so far. However, it is a fact that repeatedly, as my noble friend has said, in this House, for more than two years, in fact, for about the last five years, people have been raising concerns about drones, and the government has repeatedly dragged its feet. Why, at the earliest stage, were not technical specifications introduced and required on all drones brought into this country or built in this country, which would have enabled them to be disabled and brought safely to the ground? That technology is available, and had it been, it, it been introduced at the beginning, it would have made life a lot easier. The, to the penalties which have been introduced in, in the middle of this, this year are quite clearly inadequate, as we've already heard from the noble lord opposite. Why does the government persistently drag its feet on these issues? Yeah. Uh, my Lords, I can reassure the Noble Lord that I am no way complacent about this issue. We have been working incredibly hard about it on it all morning. As I have said, we have absolutely... <laughs> We have but we have also taken action, taken clear action this year, both introducing an exclusion zone, bringing in laws to ensure that drones aren't flown over 400 feet, and as I said, we have consulted on extending police powers, and we'll be sure, shortly announcing how we're going to be doing that. I think uh, that most people will be absolutely astonished that we're unable to locate the drone operators or to remove the drones. Can the minister say what rehearsals? were carried out for such a drone incursion? Um, my Lords, um, as I said, the police are working on this at the moment. Um, it, you know, it is, it is, they are doing all they can to um, search for the operators and resolve the situation safely. Um, I'm afraid I don't have details to the Noble Lord on the specific rehearsals for this, um, but I will look into that and write to the Noble Lord. I 